today um, this video is about curling your hair so watch this video and I hope it helps you out and if you have any questions comment below see you later um, sorry I have a cold I've been sick for like a week so I'm starting to feel better today so if I do that I'm really sorry it's kind of rude of me and not ladylike as my mother would say <laughs> Okay, so now to the main part, curling your hair. So what I do, I was talking about that, I run my fingers along and get the bottom layer, excuse me, and then I clip up the top layer. I think it's going to stay without a pen. Okay. So then, I have a lot of layers in my hair, so I guess if you had thin hair and you didn't have a lot of layers, you could just do it all down. But I like doing it in layers because you get more curls that way. Um, I grab the section. The smaller, the smaller the section you have, the tighter the curl. So this is probably like two inches. Because um, I, unless I'm like going somewhere, this is just kind of like a daily look. Unless I'm like going somewhere fancy, then this is hard because I can't see the bottom. And then I hold it for, depending on your hair, 8 to 12 seconds. Usually 8 is enough. I don't even want to tell you what kind of curling iron this is. So about 8 seconds. 10. And then um, I just let it hang down. Sometimes I will get my hairspray and spray it. Sometimes I won't if I don't want it to hold that long. And then I just work my way around each layer. I will get back to you in a few minutes. You can just watch me curl my hair. Ding. Insert music here. First of all, as you can see, the lighting has changed because I look like a ghost at first. Now granted, I am really pale, but um, I was like super white. So you guys tell me what you prefer, the, the first lighting or the second lighting, because obviously there's like a huge difference. And then it's dark outside, so that doesn't help because I'm filming this later than expected. But anyways, so I curled the rest of my hair. As you can see, it, it's like only the bottom half of my hair but I, it's because I have really long hair if you have shorter hair you can go all the way up but, but I really kind of recommend maybe leaving an inch or two because it just it frames your face better I think <coughs> again that's just my personal preference so it's up to you what you want to do so now after you've curled everything you want to go back and spray it all By the way, this um, is Paul Mitchell Extra Body Finishing Spray Volume and Shine. Um, it's a really good hairspray. It's, as you can tell, my hair's like not stiff, so I really like it. Um, and then on the cheaper end of the budget, you can get this at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, anywhere, um, is this Pantene, and it's the Flexible Hold, Pantene Stylish Flexible Hold. It's got the same consistency. But this is great, a great product, especially if you go to CVS and use your extra care bucks when it's on sale. Anyways, so you spray your hair and then I wanted to show you guys the top because um, I feel like I didn't explain enough how to actually curl the hair. So I kind of let my, whatever you want to call those bangs, fall down, leave up the remaining hair. 
and then what I do is once again separate it into sections. So the part I'm not using, I kind of twist it and set it to the other side that it's going to not be on. And then this part, grab it and you drag the curling iron down about halfway and then you kind of loosen it a little bit and let it slide. It makes the hair not be so clumped up on the curling iron, it kind of spreads it out for you so it's easier that way. So you, again you hold that for, depending on the thickness of your hair, 8 to 10 to 12 seconds, maybe less, maybe more, depending on the thickness, like I said. And sorry, I have to watch myself because I don't want to burn myself. Um, grab this other part. As you can see, I use all different things to comb my hair. And once again, drag it down about halfway, turn it around, and then it spreads it for you. Um, this is actually, you can see I have different colors in my hair. This is my natural hair color. I am a redhead of sorts. I have in the summertime a lot of blonde, but now it's getting later in the year. It's getting darker again. Also, let me know about the lights, what you prefer. Um, so there's that. So, a really important thing with curling your hair is to make sure you let it cool off before you do anything to it. Curling irons, curlers, whatever. Let your hair um, curl. I mean, it'll, it'll stay longer if you let it cool and then you do whatever you're going to do to it. pretty much cooled off and you can see it's in it kind of like naturally towards the end of the day it'll like go into a giant tendril <laughs> which is funny because it's a tendril and that's just kind of weird looking yeah so anyways what I do throughout the day and right when I'm done with curling it is use your fingers and make sure your hands are clean when you're doing your hair for sure because like makeup, grease, oils will make your hair greasier sooner. You don't want that. Um, just kind of drag your fingers through the, the hair and the ha hairspray sometimes make it, makes it get tangled so I can see myself better back there. So yeah, just run your hands through it. And then, so this is the run your hair through your fingers look. If you want it to be more, I kind of think it looks more retro if you do it with a comb. Um, what you do is get your comb, the comb that you use to detangle your hair. It's usually got wider picks. This one is wider. You There's just like kind of double layers. So you can use this, you can use, Petal brush, um, I just wouldn't recommend using something like this. You can use something like that, but it'll look better if you use a little bit wider tooth. And you just comb through all of the curls. And then see how it kind of looks retro? I think it looks kind of retro. Anyways, and then I kind of comb through with my fingers again. My dog's moving around. So sorry, these bangs are not cooperating. So yeah, there's that. And um, you can tease it, whatever you want to do. So there's my curled hair. And spray it one more time. Sorry if you don't like hairspray. I love it. Um, now, if you have naturally straight hair and you're curling your hair, I recommend using a lot of hairspray, not too much, um, and I don't recommend combing it with a comb. I recommend running it through your fingers one time and then spraying it and not running your finger, because the more you run your fingers through it, the more it's going to fall if you have straight hair. Um, gosh, that's bothering me. <laughs> so anyways. Spray it a lot and try not to mess with it because the more you mess with it, the more it's going to fall. My hair, this will last me three days. This will, 
this is gonna stay curled all, pretty much until I wash it again so I can run my hair I can run my hands through it all day um, so yeah there it is that's how I curl my hair um, if you guys like this video please like it please subscribe and um, all the links are going to be below on the products that I recommended. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Please leave comments, ask questions, and yeah, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you have a good day.